welcome back to english grammar class children <coughs> today we are going to study simple future tense okay simple future tense so we finished till now we finished simple present tense present continuous tense then past tense that is simple past and now we are going to study simple future tense okay simple future tense is also very simple the uh, first of all what is simple future tense simple future tense future means something that is going to happen in future send it so future tense means the things we are the actions which have not i mean have not yet happened that is the things which are going to happen in future okay when we speak about that we use the future tense okay simple future tense simple future tense speaks about actions that will happen in future okay that is going to happen in future example <coughs> tina will reach tomorrow tina will reach tomorrow she is not here now but will reach tomorrow okay he will play the match next week okay he will play the match next week going to happen only these two actions will reach will play that actions are going to happen so what is the format of writing simple future tense that is we use will or shall plus original form of the verb that is the format of simple future tense now what is the difference between will and shall where do we use will where do we use shall last year also we studied this we use will is used with all the subjects whatever the subject is singular plural i we you whatever it is we use we can use will but there are restrictions for using using shall shall is used only with i and we we don't use with any other subjects tina shall come we don't say it's wrong to say actually we should say tina will come okay if the subject is i and v we have to use shall i shall go to the school tomorrow i shall go then v subject is v also we shall go to school tomorrow so if the subject is i and v we have to use shall but with i and v we can use will also there is no problem if i say i will go to school tomorrow that is correct but shall can be used only with i and v we can use will with all the subjects with i and v also we can use will but shall is used only with i and v we use shall is that clear to you okay then <clears throat> Uh, in your book i mean in your grammar chest page number 72 we have simple future tense given in that exercise a exercise a is given first one that is write five sentences on what you will do when you grow up okay so when you grow up what what you will do that means now you are small children when you grow up it's going to happen in future isn't it so what all things you are going to do that you can write one um, five sentences you have to write okay so it's begin how to begin it is shown the that is you can begin like this when i grow up i will be a doctor those who want to become doctor write like that others write whatever you want engineer or um, advocate teacher whatever profession you are going to choose you write the when i grow up i'll be what okay then i will look after the sick people it is written so after becoming whatever you want what you are going to do about that you write just five sentences about that you can use yeah i we and all 
uh, in first person you are asked to write it okay just write five sentences there is no space to write there in the textbook so you can write that in your english uh, grammar notebook you can write the uh, what you are going to do okay since we don't have space to write in this textbook then in page number 73 page number 73 exercise b exercise b fill in the blanks with the future tense of the verbs given in the brackets okay the first two we will we will do the next uh, the rest you, you have to do yourself first one i dash home by 5 pm reach is the reach is the uh, thing given the uh, verb given so how will you write i shall reach home by 5 pm i shall reach home by 5 pm okay the next one also it starts with i and since it is i we have to use shall today i shall stay at my aunt's place stay is the verb so i shall since whenever i and b as is coming you have to use shall i hope it's clear to you then the rest you try yourself then in exercise c make the following sentences negative okay so how can you make a negative sentence in simple future tense how will you make a negative sentence for making a negative sentence no or not should be there so use will not or shall not plus original form of the verb to make a negative sentence for example she will not go will is after will we have to use not uh, she will not and it's not to go uh, it's not uh, going or anything original form of the verb go we have to use go go to school tomorrow she will not plus original form of verb to school tomorrow to make it in your negative the next one when the subject is i we use shall i shall not okay reach i shall not reach the office on time so this is how you have to make a negative sentence you have to add a no or not after the uh, i mean after will or shall we are adding a note plus original form of the verb this is the format of making a negative sentence so in your book coming back to your book i mean page number 73 make the following sentences negative how will you make it the first one he will reach office on time that's the question you have to make it negative so what do you have to do he will and you have to add not he will not already it is original form of verb given the after will we always use original form of verb so he will not reach office on time got it after will or shall you have to add a not that is it then second one this year my birthday will fall on sunday so after will you have to add a not to make it negative so the sentence will be like this this year my birthday will not fall on a sunday i mean saturday sorry it's not sunday saturday so <coughs> you have to add the thing that you have to remember is add a not after will or shall okay try the rest of the sentences then exercise d is converting it into a question or interrogative sentence so first we will see what is the format of writing to make it interrogative what you have to do use will or shall before the subject and use the original form of the verb what is the meaning of using it before the subject see what will you do in the evening see which is a subject here you is the subject before you what do you have to add 
before you what you have to add you have to add will will you do in the evening so here what will you do is the original form of the verb what will you do in the evening got it so look at the subject before that add will and when you write the verb it should be original form the next where shall we go tomorrow since it is we we are using shall okay when the subject is we we are using shall where shall we go is the original form of the verb so where shall we go tomorrow that is the question i hope you understood this this is how we make interrogative sentences now in the exercise given in page number 73 write questions using question words given so what are the question words question words i already told wh question h words means when what where how all these are called wh questions why are they called wh questions because they start with wh how also h o w how w and h is the so they are called wh questions the qu the question words which have w and h okay so the first one exercise d what will you have for breakfast that is the question the answer is i will have sandwich for breakfast so to make the question you have to use what then will before the subject you is the subject what will you have is the original form of the verb what will you have for breakfast got it okay the rest two of, of the uh, examples we will do rest you have to do yourself and we will discuss in the google meet okay so the first one is they will hold the tournament in august so the question the when is the word given in bracket okay so use when to frame a question how will you frame the question when will they when will they hold the tournament it's already hold itself given the the original form of the verb so when will they hold the tournament held is the past tense so use the original form hold itself when will they hold the tournament got it okay the next one is his father will drop him in the school you are uh, given the question where so how will you write where will yes his father drop him where will his father drop him okay got it his father is the subject so before that we have to add will where will his father drop is the uh, verb i mean <coughs> original form of the verb so where will his father drop him that is the question like that try the rest also okay i hope all of you understood simple future tense okay we shall have a small revision of what we have learned till now see we have learned three tenses present past and future tense i told each one is divided into different uh, subdivisions present tense divided into simple present present continuous past tense divided into simple past past continuous future also simple future and future continuous so all of these are we are, we are not discussing this year the rest you will study in the coming years so um, first we have the simple present and present continuous tense these two are the then we discuss simple past then simple future tense this much only for you this year the rest will come in the next year so we will see what it is actually each tenses are divided into four now we are discussing only this much 
simple present what was the format of simple present when the subject is singular use verb plus s or es okay use so, subject is singular verb plus s or es that is the format and subject is plural you have to use the verb as such okay don't change the verb use the verb as such then present continuous this is the format is are or am plus verb plus ing is is used when the subject is singular are is used when the subject is plural and with i we use am okay plus verb in the ing form add ing to the verb make it a continuous tense hope all of you got it then simple past very simple what is it just use the past tense of the verb to form the simple past tense just use the past tense the only thing is you should know the past tense of the verb then past continuous not the simple future tense will or shall plus verb okay will or shall will is used with all the subjects whereas shall is used only with i and v when the subject is i and v we use shall will can be used with i and v also but shall is used only with i and v i hope it's clear to you the format also please study this <clears throat> okay okay thank you